It is 734. Let's do it. Thanks for watching everybody here on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, wherever the heck this thing is sent out to. Uh, I think we might show up like on your toaster, depending on what sort of digital device you have. Uh, nice to be with you for our daily uh, time together. We start as always with the 730 forecast. This comes right from the keyboard of meteorologist Riley O'Connor. Uh, Throwing, throwing some 70s up there today. This is uh, really going to be a terrific day, I think, right on par for what you'd expect on June 19th. A little bit of cloud, but more sun than cloud, and you should be dry tonight if you're going out to have dinner on a patio or maybe in your backyard. You should be good to go for that. Uh, Father's Day, a little more questionable. We have kind of some spotty showers over the next couple of days, which makes it a little tough to plan for, but, you know, Expect a washout, and then you'll be happy when it doesn't. How about that? But that that is the forecast of a newsman, not a, a weatherman. That's for sure. Father's Day is coming up on Sunday, and all morning we've been sharing you some of those uh, pictures that you've been sharing with us of your dad. So you can keep those pictures coming using the hashtag My Morning, or you can leave them in the comments here. Let me. Uh, I just like this. I don't know. I think it's fun to see how much people love and celebrate their dads. This from Linnea. My dad is awesome, always willing to help people. He helps my sister and nieces and brother-in-law fix stuff and build stuff. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Linnea. Here's Melody showing Grandpa and his boys. Oh, one of my favorite books there. Did you see that? Yeah, farts. Yeah. I actually wrote the book on that. Here's Deb. Uh, and, and these are always... Uh, fun to kind of the memory of her dad that she thinks of every time this year. He's been the fire. I bet she thinks of him every day. Been the fire marshal in St. Paul and Marcin says Roy White Jr. has been a volunteer basketball and baseball coach for his son Mason's teams in Burnsville the past four years. Awesome. Love that. Dad's is a volunteer coach. Uh, so this weekend is for the dads. If you'd like, we'd love to know what you're going to do for Father's Day. I feel like we spend a month talking about Mother's Day, and you deserve it, moms, don't get me wrong. Dads, we tend to be a little more low-key, so what are you going to do for Father's Day? Uh, leave a comment on the WCCO-TV Facebook page, and we'll share through some of your ideas in a minute. Special session gets going. I tell you what, wouldn't it be fun if you're a dad just celebrating this weekend with some special session, uh, some hot special session action over at the state cap? Mm, is right. You better believe it. House is getting at it at 9, Senate 10. Uh, they have a lot of work to do, and what do you expect? We have the Democrats controlling one house, the Republicans controlling the other. Last night, the DFL House passed a Minnesota Police Accountability Act. Lots of stuff in there. Some things that uh, line up with what the Senate, the Republican-controlled Senate, passed earlier this week, but the Senate bill uh, bills are much narrower in scope. Uh, the DFL bill on the House side, much broader. So we'll see what happens. There's COVID relief to be talked about, a bonding bill, tax bill, uh, all sorts of stuff. Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar is out of the vice president race. She removed herself from the race. And you got to think that this was coordinated with Joe Biden, right? She was being vetted to join uh, Joe Biden's ticket. She said she called him, told him she thinks he should choose a woman of color instead of her. There are so many incredibly qualified women, um, but if you want to heal this nation right now, my party, yes, but our nation, uh, this is sure a hell of a way to do it. So here's the thing. Amy Klobuchar, one of the smartest politicians in the country, there is no way that she went on MSNBC last night and said Joe Biden should pick a woman of color if Joe Biden didn't say, hey, I'm going to pick a woman of color. Right? She's not boxing him in. So this is a done deal. Uh, she knew also she wasn't going to get the gig. So, like, a smart idea is to drop out, right? You say, like, yeah, I drop out. No, yeah, of course, you weren't going to get it anyway. So pretty smart rollout by the Biden campaign. We'll see what they do. They've been looking at a number of candidates. Here's what Joe Biden tweeted last night. Amy, from the moment you announced you were running for president at a snowstorm, it wasn't hard to see you had the grit and determination to do anything you set your mind to. You know how to get things done. With your help, we're going to beat Donald Trump. He is expected to announce his pick by August 1st, but uh, 
We'll see. I bet it comes earlier. Twitter is again taking aim at President Trump. This time it marked a video he posted as manipulated media. Shows two children running with a fake CNN graphics. This is fake. It's a, this is fake news. Graphic you see there. Just dumb. Rest of the video, two children running to embrace one another. In a time where there's so much information out there, like releasing, having the President of the United States tweet out a video that is fake, and then he blames fake news at the end of it. Twitter, mark the video, manipulated. CNN, of course, as sanctimonious as ever in their Twitter response, will continue working with facts rather than tweeting fake videos that exploit innocent children. Everybody playing their part in this uh, ridiculous play overnight, but Twitter marking a video from the president as manipulated. Okay. Uh, slow down, people on the roads. What, what is happening out here? There are going to be more officers, deputies, and troopers as they're looking for speeders. We talked about this on the morning show, I don't know, a month ago, I think. We had a state trooper on saying they are seeing all these drivers because there are fewer people on the roads. They're just letting it rip. And the state patrol says they pulled over 232 drivers from April 1st through May 21st going more than 100 miles an hour. More than 100 miles an hour. They pulled over 93 people at that speed last year. Now, last year, it took some skill to go more than 100 miles an hour because our roads are so crowded. But it's mostly youngsters, 30 years old or younger, 179. Uh, anybody have a guess on the gender breakdown of this? How come we didn't have that data? I would guess of the 179 drivers, 30 years old or younger, what do you think? 179 were idiot men? 177, maybe two women in there. Just like take it easy because speed is deadly. And the state patrol tells us speed has already contributed to 36 people dying on our roads in 2020. That compares to 27 at this time last year. So that's a pretty significant jump. Law enforcement will be, especially considering again, like so many people are not driving, they're working from home. Uh, extra patrols start Monday, June 22nd through July 19th. COVID-19 death toll continuing to climb in the United States. More than 118,000 people have died because of this. There have been more than 2 million cases, Minnesota approaching 32,000. Uh, we just update you on these numbers. You know, more than 27,500 uh, have recovered. They don't need to be isolated anymore. 19 new deaths reported yesterday. That's 1,300 lives lost because of COVID-19 just over the last couple months. In Wisconsin, you see the numbers. Almost 24,000 cases, more than 700 have died. School districts in Minnesota working on plans for starting school again this fall. If you were hoping the state was going to give some real guidance as to what schools should prepare for, uh, I would say this was not that. The announcement we got yesterday basically said plan for everything. Hey, schools, like maybe we'll do normal in classroom learning. Maybe it'll be a hybrid of in person and distance, and maybe it'll be complete distance learning. Educators would like to be at the table when decisions are being made around what reopening um, should look like, whether it's um, the scenarios that are being discussed today or, or something else. All right, so the teachers' union is mad. They want to be a part of the decision. I don't know what decision is there to make. Plan for everything distance learning. Started in mid-March. It's been, uh, to say results have been mixed would probably be a generous assessment. School districts have reported widespread problems in getting kids to show up. Challenging for teachers, but uh, perhaps with input from parents and families and teachers, distance learning, if we have to do it again, can be a little more successful. Around the metro, there is a day of service happening today. It is Juneteenth. Lots of celebrations in North Minneapolis at service. Uh, activities going on outside the Capitol building. There will be a, a rally urging reparations to be paid starting at one at two, a community celebration near 19th and Nicollet along Lake Street, unite and rebuild Minneapolis, bring people together, collecting donations. And at the George Floyd Memorial site, 38th and Chicago, people will gather to commemorate Juneteenth. Many uh, companies making this a holiday and a day off or a day of service and day of learning, which is pretty cool. Minnesota Zoo hopes a new drive through experience will help raise money to keep it in business. It's called Beasley Boulevard. I think this sounds like a lot of fun. Go to the zoo, load up the family in the car, and you can drive through. 30 minute drive about to get a glimpse of the animals along the northern trail. Uh, there's a Spotify soundtrack too that you can play along with the ride. 
Uh, they tell us it's a sing-along, which I have some questions about. Like, I don't, what? What is, what is that? <laughs> it would be great if they're all hilarious, like, animal-themed sort of songs, so I don't know. Uh, from drive through to drive in, how about this, in Champlain, Man Theater's turning its parking lot into a drive-in for the weekend. I love this. I'm pretty close to this theater. Maybe I'll do this this weekend. 10 tonight and midnight. Eh, it's too late. Midnight? Come on. I'm 45 years old. You think I'm going out at midnight to watch Back to the Future or Grease? It's for the kids. $8 per person, $3. What? Who's going to bring their three-year-old? Kids 3 to 11. Three love 10 p.m. drive-in movie. More Imagine Theaters. I'm a little, I'm a little saucy today. I'm, a little, I'm fired up. Uh, Imagine Theaters in Minnesota reopening today. Uh, first time in three months, nine theaters and all around the area. Uh, you kind of can figure this out, right? Buy your tickets online. They recommend a mask, don't require it, but wear it. Social distancing is happening too. Theater says they're also spacing out movie time so they can uh, do a deep cleaning of the theater in between. But you know, movie theater deep cleaning, what does that mean? Just saying. Like, squeegee up all the pot. <laughs> Right. Uh, let's talk about Father's Day. Back to today's talker. Uh, we asked people what they're doing for dad, what they're doing for Father's Day. Is it 100% grilling? N no, it's no. not. Okay, what are people doing? It's grilling and it's, it's morning, um, actually. Annette says that her father passed away from cancer when he was 40, oh. so she plans to put flowers on his grave. Oh, that's, that's nice. A respectful way to Yeah, that's a great thing to do. Judy said she also misses her father and husband, so tries to honor and celebrate his her sons, who are also fathers. Oh. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, Elizabeth is going to do FaceTime with her children in L.A. and Berlin. Ooh, wow. wow. Going to keep, cool. keep that kid up for a while. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Becca's working on Father's Day, but we'll be grilling next weekend and doing some strawberry picking. Oh, <laughs> I would like to do some strawberry picking. I, I mm -hmm. hear the crop is good this year, too. And then Cindy got an idea. Well, she probably had an idea that we already talked about doing the zoo drive through yeah. for Father's Day. Yeah, you, you book those tickets online. I meant to look and see how much it costs. Um, but you know, we can afford it. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. What you are you doing know. for Father's Day? For Father's Day, uh, my sister-in-law is having like a family gathering, so we'll have whatever. Sweet. I plan to uh, introduce the world to my son Nestor on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> he is not my blood, but he is my life. <laughs> oh, if you're a, if you're a heavy social media user, you enjoyed that joke. <laughs> have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend. Happy.